Science of Muscle Growth Increasing Strength and Muscular Recovery Did you know that your muscles do more than look good? They help you move, keep your body going, and even age in a healthy way. But here's the real question. Are you getting the most out of your workouts to get stronger, heal faster, and do better? In this video, we'll look into the science behind muscle growth and find out how to get the most out of your workouts and heal faster. If you're looking to get stronger or just want to lift weights, I have a better way for you to train and heal. Why muscles are important for health and longevity? Muscles are very important to life. They make all of our movements possible, keep our spine straight, and are very important for metabolism and getting older. Strong, healthy muscles are important for staying healthy and living a long life. They also improve your physical performance and general health. People often think that muscle mass means strength and power, but muscle quality or how well muscles work is just as important, if not more so. A good muscle quality makes you stronger, more durable, and less likely to get hurt. That is, the amount of energy your body burns when it is at rest. Muscles play a big role in this. A faster metabolism makes it easier to stay at a healthy weight and control your energy levels throughout the day. Muscle loss is a common part of getting older, but it doesn't have to happen. We can keep and even improve muscle performance as we age if we eat right, work out, and rest. For example, being exposed to cold has been shown to help with fat loss and healing by speeding up the metabolism and lowering inflammation. How the nervous system helps you control and improve your muscles. The nervous system is a key part of controlling and changing how muscles work. It can talk to muscles through motor neurons, which send messages that make muscles tighten and loosen. It's important to be able to control and coordinate your muscles not only for sports but also for regular things like walking, lifting, and keeping your balance. Improving endurance, flexibility, and explosiveness rests on how well the nervous system can recruit motor units. A motor unit is made up of a motor neuron and the muscle fibers it innervates. To get better at their sport, athletes often work on improving the link between their nerves and muscles. Cold plunging, which is suggested by websites like thecoldplunge.com, is a good way to help muscles heal. Being exposed to cold can reduce swelling and speed up recovery, which lets the nervous system reset and get ready for more exercise. The science behind how muscles move and how metabolism works. Because neurons and muscle fibers talk to each other in very complex ways, muscles can tighten and relax. Different kinds of muscles, called flexors and extensors, work against each other to control movement. For example, the flexor muscles tighten up when you bend your arm, while the extension muscles loosen up. In a process called glycolysis, glucose is broken down to make energy. This muscle action needs energy. Adenosine triphosphate ATP, the body's energy currency, is made by muscle fibers from glucose. One reason why having more muscle than fat makes your metabolism rate go up is that this process uses a lot of energy. Even when they're not working, muscles burn more calories because they need energy to stay strong. What lactate does and why it's important in exercise. People often think of lactate as a waste product, but it's actually good for you when you work out. Lactate is a waste product that is made when your muscles use anaerobic breathing to make energy. Lactate is not dangerous. It can be used as an alternative fuel source, protects muscles from becoming too acidic, and even sends hormones that help control many bodily functions. When you push through the pain of hard exercise, lactate is released. This chemical then circulates through the body and helps the heart, liver, and brain in many ways. The feeling of being burned means that your muscles are working hard and training through it can help you do better. Why feeling the burn during workouts is good for you? During exercise, that strong burning feeling is more than just pain. It's a sign that your body is starting to make lactate. Allowing yourself to feel this way for just 10% of your workout can have huge health benefits. The lactate that is made during this time gives your brain fuel, keeps your heart healthy, and makes your liver work better. During this time, deep breathing can help control lactate so that it keeps working as a fuel and backup instead of building up to the point where it gets in the way of performance. Even though most of the study we have now doesn't strongly support neurogenesis in humans from exercise, hormone signals like IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, and lactate do have big cognitive benefits. The science behind muscle growth and strength training. Muscle hypertrophy or muscle growth happens when muscle fibers are repeatedly strained or damaged, which forces them to change and grow. Strength training is a mix between making muscles bigger and bettering the nerve muscle pathways that make contractions more powerful. It's interesting that using moderately light to heavy weights along with certain parameters like volume, sets, and frequency can greatly increase muscle size and power without having to lift the heaviest weights. Well-known exercise scientist Dr. Andy Galpin offers a number of tools that are backed by science to help with this process. His study shows that muscle hypertrophy is affected by more than just how much weight you lift. It's also affected by how well you can control and contract your muscles. Exercise is important. There are three main ways that muscles change. 
The muscle fibers get bigger, the nerve muscle link gets better, and the muscle gets stronger against damage. All of these changes are very important for general strength, endurance, and flexibility. One of the best ways to encourage these changes is to do resistance exercise. When you put stress on your muscles through resistance, like with weight spams or your own body weight, your body starts a chain of signals that make muscles grow and work better. Regular strength training also makes bones stronger, which is important because as we age, our muscles lose their ability to contract. How to get the most out of resistance training? Focus on exercises that push certain muscle groups beyond their normal range of motion to get the most muscle growth and power. If you want to make the most progress, use weights or resistance bands that are 30 to 80% of your one repetition maximum 1RM. For the necessary changes to happen, it is important to do sets until your muscles give out. 5 to 15 sets per muscle group spread out over several times is the best amount of work for muscle growth. Although longer workouts might be good for endurance athletes, they can be bad for building muscle and power. To avoid overtraining and getting tired, it's important to find a mix between volume and recovery. Tailor your resistance training to your goals and raise your testosterone levels. How you do things will depend on the specific goals of your strength training routine. To get explosiveness, work out quickly with mild weights. To get the most muscle growth, focus on just a few muscles and tighten them hard during each rep. Do hard contractions between sets to improve the nerve muscle connection and automatically raise your testosterone levels. Interestingly, controlling how you use your phone during breaks can help you get more out of your workouts. Keeping distractions to a minimum will help you concentrate and think more clearly while you work out. Why repetitions and recovery are important for testosterone increase. Doing compound exercises like squats and deadlifts is a great way to raise your testosterone levels. When you do 6 sets of 10 repetitions of these movements, your body releases anabolic hormones that help your muscles grow. But doing more than 10 sets of 10 can cause the body to make cortisol, a stress hormone that makes it harder for muscles to heal. Getting better is just as important as working out. Walking between sets and taking 2-6 to six minutes off can help you get the most work done and recover quickly. How to measure grip strength and carbon dioxide tolerance for recovery evaluation? Recovery is more than just giving your muscles a break. It also means checking to see if your body is ready for the next workout. Tests of your grip strength and your ability to handle carbon dioxide (CO2) can give you information about how well you are recovering. Grip strength is a quick way to check if your muscles are tired and QO2 tolerance, which is measured by how long you can hold your breath after breathing out. Shows how well you breathe and how stressed you are. A good time to get rid of CO2 is between 65 and 120 seconds. If this measure goes down, it could mean that you need to rest more before your next workout. Tips on what to eat and how to work out for the best health and performance. Besides exercise, what you eat is also very important for building strength and recovering from injury. Omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, and magnesium should all be part of your food to lower inflammation and improve performance. These nutrients help muscles work, ease pain, and help you recover faster. Electrolytes, beta-alanine, and creatine are all supplements that have been shown to improve performance, increase endurance, and lower fatigue. Another thing that citrulline and arginine do is widen blood vessels, which can help blood flow during long workouts. People who get herpes cold sores often should stay away from these vitamins, though, because they can cause outbreaks. What is the link between intense exercise and brain function? Heavy exercise is also good for your brain because it helps you concentrate, remember things, and keep your brain healthy in general. Changes in hormones such as higher amounts of IGF-1 and lactate are thought to help the brain work, though the exact mechanisms are still being studied. To avoid overstimulation and burnout, it's important to carefully control the volume and length of your workouts. To improve performance and health in the long run, it's important to understand the science behind muscle growth, strength, and recovery. You can build a strong, resilient body that can perform at its best for years to come by focusing on muscle strength, using the power of the nervous system, and using good recovery techniques. Whether you want to gain muscle mass, strength, or endurance, you will get long-lasting effects if you train, eat, and recover in a balanced way. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about optimizing your health, strength, and performance, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for more tips and science-backed strategies to take your fitness to the next level.